Montefiore was founded nearly 125 years ago as a home for underprivileged immigrants with tuberculosis and other incurable diseases. From its inception, Montefiore has been surprising people. Taxol was first used to successfully treat patients with throat cancer. The first pacemaker was developed at Montefiore. Montefiore was the first to perform carotid stenting using a device to protect the patient from stroke and the first to perform a minimally invasive repair of an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Montefiore has one of the earliest and most respected research institutional review boards in the country with a specific goal of assuring that the rights of human subjects are protected. And today, Montefiore has more than 1,400 approved active protocols and more than $50 million in NIH and industry funding for medical research. The first successful separation of twins joined at the tops of their heads was performed here in 2004. Success breeds success. Once you start bringing in world-class physicians, um, others want to come. And we really have a situation here where nationally people recognize Montefiore as a place to be. Montefiore is also an institution committed to diversity and social milestones. One of the first racially integrated nursing staffs in the country. The first African-American medical resident. The first Department of Social Medicine. The first hospital-based Department of Home Care. The first institutional ethics program. But the most important part of Montefiore is an element you can't see. It's evident in every person who works here. It's the spirit that's guided the hospital from the beginning the privilege of caring for people in need, often when they're most vulnerable. Providing excellent care to our patients and their families is the goal of every associate at Montefiore. It's what Montefiore excellence is all about.